All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height and reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Destroyer. All right, this is from the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage. Whoa! All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Great punch, landed with so much power. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. These guys
Nice throw in early. Big hook. Into the body. That right hand landed. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Punches block. Kickboxing chops on full display with that off. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice strike. Big body kick lands. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, Paulo tied. Tags him with that uppercut. He got the turtle in that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh! Oh! There's a land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick. Got him. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Hip into that leg kick. Oh, Superman punch lands. Great punch. Big head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Single collar tie now. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast that he always brings his hand right back to his face. Oh, he hurt badly the jab. Wow, massive uppercut. Bring him up close. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. <laughs> round two underway. Continuing to work the body to great effect. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big kick land. It didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Let's go. Push and Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Yeah. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants ah, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Nice loop and punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! And he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Nice punch there. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the face. Oh. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Able to check that kick as well. Both fighters throwing heat now. Misses with that punch. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. How about that chin? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He blocks the shot. Nice job of hiding that hit. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Big knee lands right to the corner of midsection. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Back and forth we go. And they set it. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice slip to avoid that. lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Liver Hard kick. shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Pretty significant welt to the left side. And if you take one of them in the night, that will land right on the spot. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Body right, closes the distance gets the single hollow tie. It's broken, I think. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do... Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. <laughs> his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize this time. And now he's got a good bag. Back to the feet. And there comes the separation now. Real sneaky body kick. Got the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch land. Looking to set up that head kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Right hand punch to clinch. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looking to land the right just out of range. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well timed into the body. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Beautiful strike. Just missed with the straight left hand. He's 
lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. How about those five minutes? Yes. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to make it. Whoa! This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up this attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high. He low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. And they separate. Fight. Watch the strike. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, single power time now. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, nice. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Good punch. He's throwing everything. Whoa! Zeus hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Good stick. Bleeding from his cheek now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Blocks the shot. Unable to connect there. Single collar tie there. Slips. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! Under two minutes now to go. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Let's go. You can do this. Keep... Nice defense there. Huge block. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice body kick. Watch the shot. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go on the round. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that column time. Reach back inside and try to find oh! space. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone. What a fight so far. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Deep breath. Deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. Fifth and final round. That's a big strike right there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Oh, the Superman punch lands. And now, the grounded pound starts. Close guard. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. No place kick there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, no. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. That's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
destroyer. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts.